All right side, Gregory, on around Pritchett. Open, triple, bang, Courtney Pritchett. Big triple, round and out, no good. Pritchett, the rebound and the stick back for Courtney Pritchett. To Pritchett, she will spin, go in. She's fouled and one for Courtney Pritchett. Calvert gonna drive again, spinning, kicking, Pritchett up and one for Courtney Pritchett. Hi, I'm Courtney Pritchett and I'm a redshirt sophomore here at Campbellsville and I also play basketball. Uh, I'm from Pickett County, Tennessee. And when you uh, go around campus, there's a lot of people that say this is really small, but they really don't know small until they've hit Pickett County, Tennessee. Uh, I grew up on a farm. Uh, it's, when I say really small, there's nothing to do really. Like we have to go 45 minutes to even get to a Walmart. Um, there's not much shopping or anything, uh, maybe a dollar store and stuff like that. But I grew up with two older brothers and I think that's actually how I got to where I'm at. They took lead and they never really played sports, but they made me who I am today. The toughness comes from them. I had to stand my own ground and stuff like that. Started playing basketball when I was really young. Uh, played travel ball, fourth grade and up. Uh, played obviously school ball and stuff like that. The recruiting process I would say was a little different. Um, I had some offers on the table when I was a senior and I really didn't know if I wanted to play college ball or not. It was a dream of mine since I was little, like very little, and I waited to the last second to decide where I was going, but um, I'm forever thankful that God put me here and that coaching them took a chance on me. Uh, coach called me one day. I come up here for a visit and uh, I, I just love the atmosphere here. There's like, it's like a family. Like I knew that I was supposed to be here and uh, I knew God was putting me in the right place when I come here. Um, Coach called me one day, I hadn't graduated yet, but it was getting close and she called me and she was like, she gave me the offer and she was like, do you need to talk to your parents or anything? And I was like, no, I'm taking it. Uh, I didn't have to take, make much decisions. Like I knew this was the place I was supposed to be. When I stepped on campus and why I chose it is, like I said, it's like a family here. You walk on campus, you know everybody. Even with the professors and stuff, like they're always around. If you need help with anything, you email, you get a response in no time. Uh, the class sizes, uh, you have like at least 20 or less in each class. So you're always got that family bond here. When I first stepped on campus, coach asked me to redshirt. And redshirting in my mind wasn't, I was like, man, that's another year. Like, can you do it kind of thing? But I'm forever grateful that I got the chance to redshirt. Um, I got to get my feet wet on like basketball school wise just to get used to the atmosphere here. When I say that like a lot of people when they hear red shirt they're like man that's a lot of work or man you don't get to do nothing or nothing but thankfully I got to practice and stuff and that's what got me to last year. Last year like I got some playing time and stuff but like I wouldn't have been as good if I didn't get to be here that red shirt year. When I stepped on campus, uh, I was super nervous. Didn't talk to nobody really. I was really quiet to myself. But now if you talk to somebody, they're probably like, she does not be quiet. Uh, I've grown so much here. Um, I've made countless friendships. And basketball wise, like, there's not a person on there that I don't call my family. I can count on anybody here. Coach and them are forever gonna be my family. Coach, the teammates I've played with, it's just crazy that you can come to a new place and meet new people and become family so so quick. Last year when the season got canceled, it literally tore my heart in half. Um, when Coach sent that message out, I was like, no way. Like we was about to leave that Friday or Saturday, whatever day it was. It was the day right before we was leaving and it literally tore my heart in half. Uh, all I could think about is those two seniors we had that I've grown so close to and I couldn't do nothing to save it for them. Like they had to go out how we ended and I couldn't do nothing to save them that tournament that they deserved. Um, they showed me really what leadership was and I'm forever grateful for those two seniors that uh, showed me the way and led me last year. Um, if it wasn't for them, I don't think I could have made it. Like I could go to them and talk to them. Like if I was struggling on the court, they was right there beside me. If I was struggling in class, they was right there beside me. Um, but as the whole team, it affected us all. Like we met that night when coach sent, sent that message out and there wasn't no one in this room that wasn't crying. Like it literally tore us apart. But I think that leaves a little chip on our shoulder also. Like I think we're all ready to be back 
and we're ready to compete and give those seniors what they really deserve and they didn't get a chance to get. To the future generation, uh, CU is a place to be. Uh, it's not only that you get here and you're so nervous your freshman year and you're like, man, I ain't going to meet nobody or anything like that. It's instant family and friends. Like You're meeting new cultures, new backgrounds every day, basically. It's every year, every day, you're meeting somebody new. And it's basically, you're, you're making new friends like nothing. Like It's an instant. And um, it eventually becomes family. Like When I started here, uh, I was terrified and Everybody basically comes fa become family to me. Lastly, I want to thank Coach and Hootie for even recruiting me here. Um, I'm the only one from Tennessee on the team, and no one really thinks about that. But the girls are always like, "Oh, I know these people," or "I know, I know this girl," and I'm like, "I have no idea who you're talking about." And that's when I get to meet new people also. And but not only are they, I'm thankful that they recruited me here, but they're also role models on and off the court for me.